Yeah, and it's a beautiful day out here by the lake. I and mean, I'm here with a few of the participants over at the famous Fisher Regatta. And that's, of what course, the, uh, oh the Fisher Dorm that sponsors this regatta. And it's the one-on-one -on -one boat racing tournament. And these boats all handmade by these people that are participating in it. And usually most dorms, they enter at least more or at more than one boat. But some other non-dorms, they participate as well. So let's find a little bit about the regatta and the winners. And I'm joined now by the regatta commissioner, Ryan O'Donnell. Thanks for joining us. How's it going? Good. How are you? Not too bad. Beautiful day here by the lake. So let's talk a bit, little bit about the history of this regatta, what, it, what it's all about. Yeah. So the regatta was founded in 1987 by Brother Luther. And uh, it just a couple seniors wanted to start it, just a man in his dream. And here we are now, 29 years later. It was a crowd of over 1,000 people, and everyone had a good time. I heard even the All-American Rejects were there. Oh, wow. That's impressive. Yeah. So, so yeah, uh, I understand that also this is for a good cause as well. What, what, what are you benefiting here? Yeah, so we're raising money for St. Adalbert's Catholic School. It's, uh, it's, in, it's a parochial grade school in South Bend. Uh, it's a little underfunded right now, and uh, we are raising money to renovate the front entrance. It's not the safest front entrance. Anyone can get in and do harm if they so choose. So we are trying to give them like a foyer where uh, the back door is locked and only people who are allowed in can get in. All right. So uh, obviously there's a, also a race here as well. What was that race uh, about? What, what happened to, during it? Oh, man, what didn't happen? We had like... <laughs> 10 sunken boats, two barges that just hung out in the middle of the lake for an hour each. Uh, but then when we got to the actual races, it was all the boats that were able to stay afloat. And uh, we had a, a two-team final race for the women's team and a three-way final for the men's division. And uh, who were the winners? Oh, Pangborn won for the women. And uh, Old College beat uh, Not Yacht and from Not Hall. And uh, the Civil Engineers, Concrete Canoe. All right. And we have those winners right here. We got Stephen Barani and Emma Gentine, right? Gentine. There we go. So uh, you guys made these winning boats. So kind of tell me a little bit about what makes uh, a good boat. Sure. What makes a good boat in this race is that it can go straight and it can do that quickly and it stays afloat. Those are really the keys of this race. <laughs> it's short, it's quick, so it's got to be sturdy and it's just got to go straight. Yeah, and in some cases you don't even make the boat, but it's more of a tradition. How, how did you guys get this game winning boat? Um, so this boat has been in Pangborn for a long time. We have at least a four year winning streak going for us. And we were just kind of chilling out at the regatta and some girls on our <laughs> in our dorm said we can't we can't do it. So we're like, we got to step up to the challenge and continue on the Pangborn tradition. Yeah, and when it comes to Pangborn, can I get a yo? Yo, yo, yo. There it is. Of course, of course. All right. Have a little bit of freestyling as well here. And, and you know what they say when you're by the lake in April, you got a regatta. So stay tuned with us. We have an interview with the legendary Lou Holtz coming up right after this short break.